how are we getting our information in our lives, right? This is real impact to your life. And the second is, how are you interacting with devices? How do you interact? Um, two real big ones is there's a lot more touch today than even a year ago. And we are certain there's going to be a whole lot more touch in our future. You'll be touching the devices quite a bit more. And the second, uh, there's a lot more mobility in these devices. All right? So obviously, uh, the advent of the cell phone has been a pretty big impact on people's lives. But more and more of, your, of people's lives are going on to those devices and carrying around with, them, uh, carrying around with each other. Uh, the second reason we at Coring really get excited about this kind of stuff is, well, we've been innovating for displays basically since the invention of the television. So uh, we love to innovate to impact people's lives, enable these type of things from happening. And all those technologies you saw, uh, this, these aren't, this isn't science fiction. And it's not a science project by some uh, guy wearing a propeller hat in his garage. All of these, and we did quite a bit of research when we were developing the video, all of these innovations, all these technologies are coming. So our new product that we've introduced recently uh, is Eagle XG Slim. Uh, now, um, even before Eagle XG Slim, uh, our substrates were very thin. As a matter of fact, um, uh, for those of you that have uh, change uh, in your pocket or purse right now, uh, our large substrates are actually uh, thinner than that. So um, we know that the trend for consumers is for thinner and lighter devices, and it's for this reason uh, that we developed Eagle XG Slim. We started off small with the phones, got a little bit bigger with the um, laptops, and tablets and the logical progression, large size. And Sony came to us uh, 2010. They were using a very thick, heavy soda lime glass. They said, we'd love to make it thinner, lighter, but it's got to stay tough, right? So Gorilla was the perfect match for it. Oh, yeah. Come on up here. <laughs> What's your name? Lewis. Lewis. Okay. Hi. I'm Dave. Nice to see you there. You get to break something today. Oh boy. And it's not even, you know, not even nine o'clock, so it's gonna be wonderful. What I've got over here on the other side. So we've talked about scratch resistance, okay? Now damage resistance is the other thing we want to take a close look at. So I've got three samples of glass up here. I've got a non-strengthened soda lime, kind of your run-of-the-mill window glass. Okay. Each of these are 1.1 millimeters thick, sealed in plastic. I've got strengthened soda lime. And then I've got Gorilla Glass. And what we've done on each of the backs of these, they've got a little target zone. And you can see what looks like a little bit of a fingerprint on the backside. Each of these have been abraded on the backside to simulate some infield use. Okay, they've taken a couple swipes of a key, maybe uh, fallen out of your pocket on the concrete once or twice. And what, what we're going to do is, relatively speaking, get a feel for the strength of these different glasses. So I've got a little pointer here. What I'd invite you to do is sit there and push down on it and break the glass. Try to break the glass. Go ahead. Oh, this is going to be easy. Okay, how did uh, that feel, relatively speaking? It broke pretty quickly. It, it broke pretty quickly, right? It was, you know, went pretty quickly there. You can see a little pattern of, uh, of breakage. We're going to step it up a notch and tee up strength and soda lime. So go ahead and do the same thing. How did that feel, relatively speaking? It's a little more difficult, but it broke. There you go. A little more difficult. Once again, he was able to go right through it. Okay, finally, Gorilla Glass. <laughs> go ahead. Can I get my hammer? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get my hammer? Pretty tough, huh? Yeah. And you all are welcome to come up and, and put your hands on it. You can see, you see that little indentation? That's actually the plastic that seals the glass. There's nothing, nothing done in the glass itself. Okay, again, this is just, this is uh, half the thickness that we'll actually make it up to, right? So we make grill glass up to two millimeters thick. This is a 1.1 millimeter sample. And you can see the, the toughness, the durability of that glass. What do you want on the surface of your device? Okay. Right, so you can see all the uh, all the wonderful attributes of Gorilla Glass. Again, scratch resistance and damage resistance that make it uh, the choice today. So, Lewis, thank you so much. Thank you. Really appreciate you coming up here and uh, give give Lewis a hand here. Okay.